Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. It is Samoyed Sunday today and with summer just around the corner or if you're in Denver like I am, it's here already. It's already been 95 degrees and crazy warm lately. So I thought it would be fun to share with you what I keep in my backpack for the dogs while hiking. So this isn't going to be in any specific order, I just have everything over here and I'm just going to pull it up in whatever works. So first up we have harnesses. These are the Freedom Harness and I bought it off of Amazon. I like these a lot, they're adjustable, they have little um, soft kind of velvet spots on the side so it doesn't hurt their fur too much. Um, I like using harnesses while hiking, well pretty much anytime I'm going on a super long walk because the girls are Samoyeds and Samoyeds pull like crazy because that's what they're bred to do. And a collar is going to pull at their neck whereas this pulls at their chest and actually helps them pull less. Now on these harnesses I have a purple one for Miko and a teal one for Tinkerbell. They each have a tag with my phone number on the back. Now, both of the girls are microchipped, but microchips don't work unless you get scanned at a vet. So if I am hiking off leash, I 100% make sure that they have their name and my phone number on the back. And this, especially if I'm hiking at dusk, you can squeeze it on and probably can't see it very well in here because it's super bright in here but this is a light it can either flash stay steady or flash super slowly as well those especially with white dogs i want them to be super visible and kind of gives you an extra little safety precaution then the leash i use is from my dog's cool and because I have two dogs that love to go all over the place, I actually use a leash splitter or a coupler is what it's called on their website. So it's made out of climbing rope, super strong, made in the USA. I've actually talked to the man who runs the business a few times. He's really great, sends the girls fun stuff, and it's just really attractive. Now working on to what's on the very end of the leash. These are dog bags. Um, I like this brand. It's called Earth Rated. They're biodegradable, which is wonderful. So just like in your camping, you're not going to leave any trash behind. You want to make sure you pack out your dog's poop as well. Gross, especially when it's hot out, but necessary. Especially if you're in the wilderness somewhere, you don't want to mess up prey animals territories. Essentially, if they smell something like a dog, they're going to avoid that place and that's and not be great for migration, etc. So these are nice and green. It's a really green company. They come with a compostable or recyclable little, instead of having plastic in the center, it is cardboard. Really great, no waste. And of course the dogs come back when we bring out the treats. So treats are super necessary, especially when I have the dogs off leash. When they come back, we don't want to see your butt. <laughs> Come here. So especially when I have the girls off leash, I carry treats in my pocket and extras in my bag. Yes, I know you girls are so excited. But when they come back, when called, I give them a little treat, just some positive reinforcement. Can you sit down, sweet pea? This is the Nice Jerky by the brand that sponsors the girls, I and Love and You. It is venison and lamb, and it is free range, grass fed, there's no corn, wheat, soy, or rice in here. Yes, your girls want some? Mm-hmm. So treats, always a good thing. And on top of treats, I always bring plenty of water. Usually I'll have at least a water bottle for each of the girls. I generally scope out where I'm going to be hiking first to see if there's actually water on the trail. Um, I don't let them drink from stagnant water, but these girls are totally cool with drinking from rivers or streams that are moving. But if that's not gonna be the case, they each get their own water bottle and then I bring bowls as well. And these bowls pop out, full on water bowl, and if they're wet, you don't need to put them back in your bag. You can just hang them from the outside. And speaking of bag, if you were curious as to which one I use, this is a gorgeous canvas and a leather one is from Bahal Raven. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. It has a bunch of accents over the words, so Fajal Raven maybe? 
Um, really great quality, has plenty of space, drawstrings, all of that for all of their stuff. And lots of mine as well. So I don't do the full on backpacking, camping, overnight thing with the girls. Usually hikes for me are a couple hours or a day hike. So I don't need, well let's hope I don't, need to bring a full on first aid kit for the girls. What I do bring is a tweezer. Great for ticks, thorns, stuff that gets caught on their paws, all of that fun jazz. Um, you can pull it out and I also bring some styptic powder. Now, I do not have it to show you because I pulled it out to use for this video and apparently I have no idea what happened to it. So I'll put up a picture here somewhere. Um, I absolutely need to find that before I go hiking next. That is the same powder that I use to groom their paws just in case um, I get a little too bit too close to the quick when I am trimming their nails. And I have a whole video on that. I'll link it above and below. So this is not for summer, but if you've never heard of this before, it is a musher secret. It is my absolute go-to product if you are hiking, snowshoeing, etc., anything with snow on the ground in the winter. It is a waxy consistency, a little bit sticky, kind of gross, but it is really great for preventing the snowballs that get stuck in, in between the girls' paw pads and will help keep them out in the snow and happy much longer. And lastly, I don't need this if I'm using my own car to go hiking. However, I do bring it along if we are going in somebody else's car, notably my mother's. Um, this is a Kurgo. It is a great way to keep the dogs in the back seat. It attaches with, it is very tingled right now, but it goes around the headrests here is what I'm looking for. These little straps um, go around the headrest and then connect to the bottom of the car that keeps the fluffs in the back seat or in the trunk, wherever that works for you. If they are dirty or muddy, etc., you don't want to get their hair all over the place. My car is so full with hair that it doesn't even matter anymore. But this is a great thing to use if you are trying to keep either your car or somebody else's clean. So I would love to know, what do you make sure to put in your bag when you're out and about with your pups? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I make wellness videos every Wednesday and on today, like Samoyed Sundays, little girls are the stars of the show. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Say a woo. You say a woo?